Okay, hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna talk about unemployment. And so what I've got is a measure from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which will be the authority on unemployment in the US. The particular site, as you can see, it's Alternative Measures of Labor Underutilization for States, second quarter of 2018 through first quarter of 2019 averages. So you could just like go to Google, Google's your friend, type in Alternative Measures of Labor Underutilization for States and you'll come to the same thing. And I really appreciate this site because the first thing is, it gives us this nice definitions. It gives us how these measures are defined. It turns out like the unemployment rate that gets reported in the media, the official unemployment rate is the U3 measure. This is the total unemployed as a percentage of the civilian labor force. We also have like U1, U2, U4, U5, U6. These measures go from being like very narrow to very broad. When you get down to U6, this is the total unemployed plus all marginally attached workers plus total employed part-time for economic reasons as a percentage of the civilian labor force plus all marginally attached workers. This is going to have like the broadest measure. And but one of the things that's interesting to do then is compare by states. So here's the U3 measure, there's the U6 measure. And you can look for different states, you can find the unemployment rate for where you're living. And you can you can compare now the official measures U3 U6 in some sense is the broadest measure and so sometimes that's nice in comparison. If you one thing that's really interesting to do is look at the trend of these measures over time and you'll see that matter of fact even the U6 measure has returned now in 2019 to below pre great recession levels. So if you look back at like 2007, look at 2008, you'll see now U6 has returned to below those levels or at those levels it was kind of the last one to come down. So you see the U3 measure in the in recovery from the Great Recession returned to relatively normal by you know, 2015, 2016-ish. Uh, it took U6 a little bit, took U6 a little bit longer. Actually, like unemployment had fallen substantially even by you know 2013, but uh, it started to look more normal by 2015, 2016. It took U6 a little bit longer than U3 to recover, and that's natural because U3 U, six is going to pick up a lot more categories, right? Okay, so one of the things that's really interesting, those we're thinking about unemployment here, we're breaking this down across different states. One thing you could do is you could type into Bureau of Labor Statistics, you could look up for a particular area that you're interested in. So for instance, by Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, you could find not only like monthly unemployment figures. First, this is going to give us the civilian labor force. It's going to give us the employment numbers. That's actually really valuable to compare changes in employment, those are numbers with jobs, versus unemployment. Why? Well, so unemployment is is going to is going to count only those who don't have jobs but have looked for jobs in the last 30 days unsuccessfully. Uh, employment is going to be picking up those with actual jobs. And so between the two, you can actually get kind of the fullest picture of what's going on. Of course, what are you missing? Well, you're missing workers who would be discouraged, who, who don't have jobs would like one but have stopped looking and maybe lost hope or whatever so anyway so in order to kind of get a full picture of what's going on I like to look at both employment and unemployment numbers but the interesting thing when you look at the economy at a glance data is you can see four particular sectors of the economy right you could see the unemployment figures for those sectors Las Vegas is really interesting to look at because it's a tourism based economy and tourism is going to see very strong economic fluctuations. So when the rest of the country does really well, Las Vegas has an economic boom. When the rest of the country doesn't do very well, well, luxuries such as travel is one of the things that people cut back on. So you expect Las Vegas economy not to be so good in the leisure and hospitality sector. And you see actually right here, pretty uh, pretty low change in, um, in unemployment in, in those areas. So, okay, very interesting. Another thing I like to do is I like to type in your local region. So what I did is I typed in unemployment rate in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, FRED. Why FRED? Well, this is the St. Louis Federal Reserve FRED site. And this will give us the change in the unemployment rate in this region graphically. So this is going back to 1990 up to May 2019, and it's showing the gray bands are times of recession. Yeah, you'd expect during a recession, unemployment's gonna go way up. And sure enough, it goes up and it spikes around 14% in Las Vegas in the wake of the, of the Great Recession, and then has been falling ever since. The beginning of the video, I was talking about how like unemployment across the country has, has reached like pre-recession levels. And 
in, in Las Vegas, it looks like this is pretty close to the case as well. Here's April 2019, so 3.8%. And then, well, I think, was there 3.9 might be the lowest I can find here? Yeah, so it looks like, looks like we're back to like pre-recession levels in Las Vegas. Oh, 3.8%. Well, margin of error for the data, right? Anyway, so it's interesting. Unemployment is definitely a local story. You should type in St. Louis Fred. This is this is pulling Bureau of Labor Statistics data, but I like this because it's got this nice graphical format. You should type in unemployment rate, type in your county or type in your city if you live in the United States and Fred. And it'll bring you to a graph very much like this. And then you'll be able to get a sense of how things are changing or how things have changed, what the current unemployment rate is near where you are. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Good luck on your journey studying economics.